A game revolving around bringing a ragtag team of athletes to victory, where 45% of the people who play it don't actually win their first match. This is eSports life. Do you like League of Legends? Maybe you've always wanted to start your own eSports organization with your friends, just having lots of fun and playing games together and making money from it. Now imagine you took both of those things, you stripped all of the fun things away from it, and then you were forced to drink nothing but energy drinks and make TikToks all day. That's essentially what we have on the cards today, a game where you literally make your character a personification of yourself only to have you sit in a different room from where all of the interesting things are supposedly happening. <laughs> oh man, they're winning! I sure hope one day they forget to unlock the door in here. Through tactics, practice and doing a large amount of stalking the personal lives of the people we're playing against, our goal is to progress up through the ranks without getting a restraining order. My main personal goal though? I want to create the greatest esports team on earth, but they cannot, under any circumstances, be allowed to play the game. But before we dive into this game and figure out why exactly only 45% of people can make it through a play match, we have to make our character. He kind of got cake, man. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that's like probably the closest to what we are. God, I wish. Welcome to the presentation of the new team CEO. The board of directors have absolute trust in Ross Bimsocks to assemble a great team. Can you do it? No. With me officially starting my esports org, which apparently was such a massive deal they held a press conference for it on day one, it was time to name our team, pick our jerseys, and start signing players. We have we've landed straight in Bronze League, the sixth division of League of Heroes. Definitely not a copyrighted game by another name. What would you name a team that I am um, I'm basically gonna throw the wolves here? The Suicide Squad. What's her shield gonna be? We could go like a little bit, a little bit of Scotland. You know what, maybe green for Shrek. You know what, man, do you know what, do you know what teams never make use of? What color? Dude, it looks horrible. Poo brown. We could go for some poo color shirts. Oh, I did, oh, look at that. That is horrible. That looks horrible. <laughs> and then country. Ooh, we got a Scotland flag. Oh, yes. No, you can go North Korea. <laughs> Hold on one second here. All right, we're gonna have a conference in North Korea then in that case. We've got our team in the top lane. XX Predator XX, enemy champions, not children. Mid lane, we have her casted in main. She left me. In the bot lane, we have her toilet and his kitten. And in the jungle, we have the Supreme Feeder from North Korea. I think we got a pretty good lineup here. The gaming headquarters, the headquarters. There I am. The mastermind behind it all. Get your players ready because we've scheduled a friendly match tomorrow against the Karate Masters. Our first game was scheduled. It was almost time to take to the stage. So I did what any esports organization worth their salt would do. Let them play other video games whilst I sat on Reddit in my bedroom. Everybody's like sick to death of like this game already, man. This is like, they, 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 they didn't last half a day. Not even playing Le League of Legends. They, they lasted half a day of talking about it man what am i cooking in the in, in my room i'm one finger typing is this really what the game thinks of me that i'm a one finger typer you gotta be kidding me man you know what we've done enough let's just play just play video games i don't care i, I honestly we're fine right we're, we can't lose this is the tutorial where it's a scripted dub right it's gonna be a scripted win here you can see the relevant match update and value i'm I, sorry actually i ain't reading all that press result match to your chances of winning i don't have a great chance <laughs> So we lost, is basically what you're saying. His kitten and his toilet went 1-5 in bot lane. Our mid laner went 0-3. The, the support has a 4-1 KD, man. What, what are you talking about? Players have a gold, gold, silver, bronze potential, which means how good they can become. Everybody on my team is not, it's like quite literally not capable of being anything other than bronze. Everybody, everybody on the team. We have one guy who is like slightly six silver, but not anything beyond that. I realized that nothing matters in esports if you don't have hype behind you. It's been the tried and tested formula of North American orcs for almost a decade at this point. Hype things up, attract millions of dollars of investment. Put it all into a massive, horrible gamer compound and then buy myself a Ferrari Testarossa. Everything fell to the wayside and I became a clout goblin. Just a silly little guy living in a cave doing funny TikTok dances that are meant for teenage girls. And I locked my team in the clout cave with me. I created a veritable factory of nothing but content. Don't practice, don't play the game, just take pictures. 
We lost again. <laughs> we didn't say it would be an easy match. As it turns out, you don't actually have to win to make money in this game. This bodes well for me, and it bodes very well for a team that has absolutely no intention of actually winning to begin with. Unsurprisingly though, pro gamers don't like losing games, and tempers began to flare up. Sorry, what's happening here? You guys are arguing? Why are you arguing? You're not even playing the game, you're taking pauses and pauses all day, man! Get, get, get in my office, okay? So I can tell him to just hit a punching bag, and that will apparently solve this entire problem. Back to the most important thing. An unknown person got inside the house! Who are you? I'm a League of Heroes hero. I'm a League of Legends hero. I've been sent by the community to evaluate whether you're worthy of the League, or whether I should make you disappear. Can I see the house? Get out of my house. You've made quite a mess. The hero didn't like being kicked out of your house and has said unbelievable things to your players and staff. Your players are stunned at the crazy situation. Get a tactics bonus. Oh, wait, hold on. We get a bonus? But that, that was actually the right choice somehow. Anyway, back to taking pictures in front of the thing here. Okay, we got absolutely stomped. Seven and no bot lane. I need to get rid of this bot laner. He is absolutely dog. He is terrible. He's gonna need to figure out a way of getting better without playing the game, because I'm certainly not making him play the game. We did get 600 followers, oh, catch it. We got four grand. Dude, this is easy. Running an esports organization is so easy. Probably. What I'm doing right now is I'm setting up an underdog narrative right now, right? We're getting followers, we're losing every game on purpose. It's totally on purpose. But, do you understand how crazy it's gonna be when these people, these group of individuals actually win a game? We're gonna go stratospheric. They say work smart, not hard. And I can tell you, we are not working at all, baby, so we can't lose. We are seriously pegged to lose this one, man. Like, at a point, we gotta somehow, like, accidentally win. We did not win the same. It would be a while before I realized that this was a tutorial section, and the game would literally not progress until I actually won two games. If I make my team do any form of work, they start, like, arguing with each other, and their morale goes down. Their morale is clapped. They just can't deal even remotely. In fact, we gotta get the hype up. Let's get the hype up. Come on, chop chop. They have the weakest mental I've ever seen in a League of Legends team, and I've been playing League of Legends for this many years. With just a little bit of determination and sheer unbridled pity from the game, though, we managed to snag our first win. Oh my goodness, the underdogs have done it. The underdogs have done it. 900 followers? It is a little bit crazy. You do apparently get more followers when you win games. You're now ready to tackle your first match. Go game. First round. Oh my god, what is going on? So, as it turns out, this was the mechanics behind the achievement that 45% of the people who booted this game couldn't do. And it appeared like insanely early into our play session. I'm gonna be honest, I thought it would take way longer than that, but hey, listen, let me break this down for you. This is League of Heroes, okay? It's, it's very similar to the video game League of Legends. You got three lanes, all right? Top, bottom and mid. In fact, you know what? Hold on. You have two lanes, mid and top. Actually, you know what? We just have one lane and it's mid. You, you know what? Forget it. Basically, the game revolves around this person fighting NPCs in a forest, okay? This game, however, manages to really boil down the complexity of a multiplayer online battle arena game to its absolute simplest form. It's truly art. If you consider art to be three sliders and some buttons that I am pretty sure don't actually serve any function or are just there to make it seem like you're doing something. You're just watching circles bash into each other. And I know that 45% of the individuals who tried this probably died of boredom watching it. But listen, these are my circles. So we're gonna take this match to the streets. Okay, we got one of them. We got one of them. Push right, push right, push right. Oh man, we just, okay, you know, we could probably speed this up a little bit actually. Another. Keep going. He's empty. He's 11 and what, dude? He's 11 and one, man. Bro, it's so free. It's so free. The, the enemy top laner is one in 12 and no one else dies. <laughs> one in, that guy's getting fired after that game, man. He is like straight up, he's benched after that one. End of preseason. We've reached the end of the preseason. Now the official League of Heroes like week begins. We're gonna move to a new apartment for the season. This team deserves better. I don't think they do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry, but like I we live in a, a pigsty. We live in like we live in a crack den and I'm, I'm like this team is radiating crack den energy I, I don't know. Where do we put it a better apartment like meth a meth lab compared to meth lab perhaps Why have they got like a hot wheels track in the room? <laughs> How old are these guys man? Second last <laughs>
only slightly above an English esports team who are just barely lower than we are. These guys are doing diamond and platinum pro, man. Like, are you joking me right now? All right, what about our players? Our, where do our players rank? All five of my team are the dead last players in the entire league. Oh my God. I'm telling you, underdog story. So we may have entered into the lowest possible league in the game, Bronze League. Some people might shoot for the sun because at least they'll land amongst the stars, but I was pretty fine with getting by on just managing to not be the literal worst team on the entire planet. The opposing team formation shows their favorite heroes, ban three of them. Am I just banning out my entire team? We all like play the same guys. All in on top lane. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we 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 pull it back. We pull it back. We we re we repost. We repost. Forget about literally anything else. We we win through top. Don't fight your balling. We can't afford any more of these bad things happening. No. 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 My team is so bad. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, game two. That's the three. I'd say honestly, hit me with that. Hit me with that. Push bot lane. That is not a great start. I will not lie to you, but still, I believe. Okay, and nip down. And nip tower down. We got dragon. Twenty percent stats to everybody. There we go. We're hitting the next already. This is a best of three. We okay. That's not great. That's not great. That's fine, though. No. Okay, we won game three. We got, we won the best of three. Fourteen thousand dollars for one game. Forty hype as well. Oh yeah, man. Okay, here's this. Here's the deal. I spend all of our money on like a wonderkind, right? You're looking for eighteen thousand dollars. What if I was to offer you zero dollars? We know it's somewhere between eighteen thousand dollars and eight and zero dollars. What about thirteen thousand dollars? What about fourteen and a half thousand dollars? The art of the deal, baby. Talk about a masterclass in bringing the money down. I'm just saying, if you want to do deals, start at zero. I want like one hundred and fifty dollars. You want to buy my my secondhand AirPods? Be like, I'll take them off your hands for zero. You know that you're gonna find you're gonna find some middle ground there. Don't do this. I'm gonna call him 50 yards, cause it sounds cool, but it's also uh, the the amount of distance that he's legally not allowed to be within a school. Uh, <laughs> I want a new mouse already. I'm fed up with the with 200 DPI response speed. I want 4,000. You want 4,000? What are you gonna do with all that DPI? Shut up, man. Get out of here. You've set yourself ablaze. Bro, it's a mouse. It's not that deep, man. What is wrong with you, bro? Grow up. 2-0 against the Lithuanian Cavaliers. They did not stand a chance. This is the redemption arc of our bot lane. It's insane. Make TikToks! Make TikToks! Come on! Quick, hit the gritty and take a video of it. People, the kids will love that. We're like a five-minute crafts channel and an esports organization at the same time. On one hand, we're a serious legitimate as far as the tax. What? As far as taxes are concerned, we are a legitimate organization. But on the other side of things, we're all, we basically just money laundering. Who has the time? We got no hype. We got no fans. A player has injured himself. You're not, you're, you're not even playing. Explain to me how you've injured yourself. Tell me right now. You are standing looking at your teammates. I can't, I'm off the team. You know what? You've never played jungle in your life. Congratulations, Predator. You're now in the jungle. I don't care if you're out of position. You're still somehow better than the other guy. Okay, we managed to bump ourselves up to third place. Do you really think you can be us? We just did. Great match. You put... <laughs> You're playing a brilliant match. Do you really think you can beat us? Well, you played a brilliant match. I'm, I'm sorry. That's fine. That is less fine. Okay, one one damage. There we go. They got both. They got so many dragons. Oh my goodness me. Do not lose this for the top laner. It does not matter. He is Colleen in house. He is going crazy. That is a 0 and 11 top laner. A 0 and 11 top laner. Absolutely swept. Swept. We're first in the league again. Let's get the hype room going, man. Let's get the tactics room up. Let's get that up. Let's get that up. Why do we get one of them? Why do we get one of them? Why do we get one of them? And we have no money. How does rent work? Good question. Here's a little life hack, man. I'm just maybe just like not going to pay rent. Please do not do this.
Warning from the board. The board are worried because you closed last week in the red. You've been given a, a grand, but this can't happen again. I just got 21 grand, baby! Hey, what do we do with that money? We put it straight back in. All right, upgrade the tactics room. Upgrade the hype room. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's business. I have no idea, by the way, how their morale is so high. All I have done is, like, make them read, watch, like, VODs, and then take pictures and do TikToks. That's it. Somehow they're like, this is great. Whew, close one, but we win. His kitten was a uh, MVP. Color me surprised. You let them sleep, you don't let violate labor laws. If I could stop them from sleeping somehow, I, would I think I definitely would. Our mid laner has 10 denitis. One hour before game? Dude, I'm sorry, you're playing through it. You're playing through it, that's it. I don't care. Exit game, it doesn't matter. We still 2-0 and they will be exiting the league. Oh, thank you very much. 24, we're, we're, we're two full games above anybody in the league. This just seems like the most based way to run a League of Legends team here. I've managed to create a, a League of Legends juggernaut. The, the only games they've played are professional games. Fix the mid laner. Man, we, we went through top, dude. Who cares? It's not going to get double 10 tonight, right? Come on. We're, we're not even, like, in the red, man. We got so much money. Let's buy some stuff. Oh, evolve. Wow. We got to evolve the hype room, bro. Woo! Okay! Oh, dude, if I evolve the bedroom, do you think they get, like, a better Hot Wheels track? That would be pretty cool. I'd be happy for them if that was the case. We approached the final game, and with fire in our hearts, and not a single video game actually played under our belts, it was nothing but net. With that, we were the champions, the greatest esports team in the history of the lowest league in the game. I got my achievement for becoming the Bronze League champion, and then realized something strange. Uh, there was more people that had actually become champion of this league than had beaten a single play match. The game literally forces you to do this. And if you just don't touch anything and leave the game to its own devices without doing anything, you're basically a shoe in to win. I didn't realize that somehow it's actually almost more impressive getting that far into the game, failing a tutorial, and still managing to succeed enough to become the champions of the league. I, I feel like I need to meet some of these individuals because I'm impressed. It's not the rarest achievement I'll ever get on this channel, but it goes to show you can succeed as an esports team without actually practicing the game you're a professional in. And that's pretty inspiring, probably. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to all the lovely people on the screen right now for supporting this channel with their money. I'd love it if you subscribed or joined the channel as a member to have your wonderful name show up on this list. Or perhaps you might be interested in checking out my clothing line who are doing it in official collaboration with the anime Cowboy Bebop. You can grab some cool collector's items down below. See you later.